All right, since President Trump's election night victory, many liberals living in blue states are losing sleep to what they call Trump-induced insomnia. They're blaming Yahoo, Trump for it? Yes, Yahoo News tracked down these victims to ask about their dreams. Susan Rogers, a poet from California, said she was hurtling through space with no direction on a plane that she discovers with horror has no pilot. Oh, boy. And if you thought that was weird, Leah Grover, a Chicago writer, has spent more than one night calculating where in her home she would build fake walls behind which to hide immigrants facing deportation. Here is how these people can get over this problem, because he is our president. We have the world's only irrational, irritational speaker and pit bull of personal development. <laughs> Development, Larry Wingen. I'm sorry I got irrational and irritational confused. <laughs> now I'm Come going to be on, sleepless Steve. tonight. <laughs> irritational. Listen, these poor, poor babies. We've got Barbara Streisand who eats pancakes and gains weight. Lena Dunham can't eat at all and loses weight. Now we have all these people who can't sleep. Evidently, they've never dealt with any disappointment in their life. They've never had anyone die, never lost a job. Their team never lost. And they have no concept of what the rest of us are pretty familiar with of get over it and move on. Poor right. little buttercup. Suck it up. Okay. You know, it's Sandra Bullock also could have uh, invoked that uh, dream sequence because, remember, in Gravity, she was hurtling through space. Uh, how about this dream? <laughs> Lindsay Steinman, a consumer researcher, was told by an OBGYN to consider meditation after she complained of stress and poor sleep from trying to work full time, raise a family, and bringing down a fascist regime at the same time. What about someone with that thick th uh, things to do list? You know, uh, the sad thing is, is that these people's families are going to suffer. If uh, they're in the public eye, their customers are going to suffer. We're going to suffer. And so this sort of has a domino effect, and it reaches over into people's lives, all because they're not able to take control. And what's most interesting to me about all of this is they don't want Donald Trump in power, yet they have given Donald Trump power over their sleep. Doesn't make any That's sense to point. me. Take back your personal power. Good point. Yeah, they preach about tolerance and if you go yeah. to those protests, they want everyone they want you to be tolerant. They want to be tolerant and that's what they preach. They want to love everybody unless they disagree with you. Do you think they'll ever come around and give the president a chance? You know, it's not just about the president. It's sort of a, this societal problem that we need to stop indulging all these weaklings and make them, force them to deal with the consequences of life in general, not just life as the result of an election, but life when you lose. And we're not letting people experience loss so they don't actually know how to deal with loss. They have this entitlement mm -hmm. that everything should always go their way, and if it doesn't go their way, they get to play the victim and they get right. to say, I can't sleep, I can't eat, and then we let them buy with it. There right. you go. Larry Wingate, uh, life is very easy if you're Larry Wingate. Thanks so much. There's a right way and a wrong <laughs> way and a direct way. Thanks, Larry.